Welcome everyone! My name is Tech Weasel. I'm a 12 year old kid. I code my own Roblox games. I'm going to show you how to make yours. Except this video is not going to involve any coding. This is a, hopefully a shorter video? I don't really know. We've built lots of things in the past, but one thing you might have had as a problem is that you load up your game, not by clicking play here, but instead by actually going to the game's page to show your friends. And what happens there? Well, um... You can't play. Your game is completely blank. Nothing. Completely empty. So let's fix that problem. Right about now. In this video, I'll show you how to change a bunch of things in your game public-wise to make it better in that way. But there's one problem. We first need to cover the main subject. So, if you've been watching my videos as your first ever how to code with Roblox, then you might have had a small problem. You've probably just been Xing out your game, clicking save, and that's it. But saving is different than publishing. If you click up here on file, you'll see save to Roblox. That'll do the same thing. It'll save your work so that later on you can continue that work without it actually going public. But clicking publish to Roblox will upload everything that is currently in the game onto the public... <coughs> <coughs> that was unusual. Onto the public version of it. Sorry for the coughing fit, everyone. Anyway, once you've clicked publish your game, you'll go to the create page. First thing you need to know is to actually find your game for the first time, you're going to have to click start place, blah blah blah, whatever it's called, and click there. And then you can show that to your friends, or try to get that on the popular page, favorite it, so that you can get back to it later. But that's how you get to it in the first place. Anyway, I want you to click over here with the settings, and you'll notice some configurables. Configure game allows you to do things like change the name, change it from private to public, make sure your game is set to public if you want to show your friends. It allows you to do avatar settings, but you can also do those in Roblox Studio. It allows you to add places, which is basically in a game how it teleports you to a smaller mini game, but it has a loading screen like it's a whole new game. Have you ever done that? Created places, developer products, and game updates. You can actually send a message for a game update once a week so that people can find it. <sighs> but that's just configured game. That's configuring the whole game. The start place, like I said, the places, is the part of the game that the player spawns in. Not the area, the whole place. Everything in your game, probably. Until you start adding multiple places. So let's go and configure the start place to do even more. So, go over to the gear again. And this time, click configure start place. You'll notice there's a lot more things. You can do permissions, and even allow gear types. You probably don't have gear, or have ever seen it in a public game. But if you do, it's like the thing your avatar is holding on your profile page. For me, it's a small dog from a movie. I think the dog's name is Momo. I've won it in an event a long time ago, and I've kept it just because it's cute, and personally, while I have it, I'm not spending Robux for another dog. Anyway, so all these things can actually be used in-game by simply checking on each type you want. Game icon allows you to change the front page cover of the game by choosing a file. Can't have you looking at my files, but I selected a file, and I click upload, and that's the icon of my game. It'll take a while to load. I don't know if Roblox favors the people on the popular page or something, because they can change their icons instantly. But for me, this is going to be the icon for a short amount of time. Once your video, once your game has had its icon changed a couple times, not only can any um, cover you previously added to it be switched back to immediately with no loading, but also the more times you change it, the quicker it starts changing, I swear. That's how it's been for me. 
Thumbnails are these smaller little pictures that appear in your game. Access allows which devices can play. Of course console players can play my game. Right, you gotta have all of that. Okay, um... You can even sell access to the game. Choose how many players can be in a single server. Going all the way up to a hundred. Um, you can choose... You can make it so it reserves certain amounts of slot, slots for people who click the button to join their friends. Um, you can fill each server as full as possible. All of that. Um, but there are consequences for what you choose. Version history allows you to actually switch to older versions. I've had to do this once or twice when I made a mistake and saved it and didn't realize until it was too late. Um, developer products, that's kind of like game passes and clothes and things you can sell. And games, you can do in-game permissions, many things. So that's about this lesson. There's a bit more that I'd like to show you. Click that start place thing I showed you earlier. Hmm, I see a theme in these ads. A large theme in these ads. Anyway, you'll have many things you can do. You can go to store to actually add game passes. Um, make game passes. You used to be able to make gear, but I don't think that is possible anymore. Um, seems that, yeah, you're not allowed to add gear anymore. Guess it was just an underused feature, like I said. So, while you can have people use their gear in-game, it used to be that you could actually kind of sell gear in-game, but I guess that wasn't very profitable for Roblox. You can check out the servers like you always could do, create private servers like you always could do. Personally, I think game developers should have their own free private server, um... But, uh, nope. Nope, they don't. They totally don't. Huh. <laughs> See? Um, the cover loaded. Now the cover of this game is, well, cover of my channel. You can tell what that is, right? That, this is a screaming ferret with laser shooting in its eyes. That's a real ferret, you know? That is a picture of my ferret. He's actually yawning happily in the picture. Editing. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. You can check out a bunch of stuff about the game that you normally can. You can do all kinds of things. So, I hope you enjoyed this game, and this video, and everything. All this stuff. You can do all this cool stuff. Oh! You know what? Before I end the video, one more cool thing. Add the profile. So basically, on your profile, you can go under Creations to see all your projects. But you can't. Because, I don't know if there's a certain number, or if it just doesn't happen anymore in the first place. For now, at least at where I am, I have to click Add to Profile, and it will be on my profile page. I'm actually going to remove that, because I do not need my profile filled with, like, coverless, small games that I built for the channel. But, um, yeah. Anyway, bye, everyone! This is the shortest video I have ever made. Really small subject, but I realized there were many videos where I meant to cover things like publishing your games so people can actually see them. And left it out, especially the basics of Roblox coding finale. I really meant to mention that. So, bye! See you all tomorrow.